Dunfermline lined up with former keeper Ian Westwater back in goal after a lunchtime transfer from Dundee. Three minutes into the game, he was in the action. Saving from John Henry, with Craig Flanagan just missing the rebound. Midway through the half, it was Westwater to the rescue again. Thompson on the overlap, looking up and seeing Ken Eady. His first time shot saved by Westwater. Dunfermline's first chance fell to Jackie McNamara. A lovely one too, but Alan Monaghan keeping the pars out this time. Dunfermline kept up the pressure after the break. Paul Smith's free kick missed by everyone and going just wide. Smith started the set-piece move which led to Dunfermline's winning goal. Andy Todd and Hamish French with the headers and Giorgio Boyle, the man in the right place at the right time, to put the pars in front after 63 minutes. Six minutes later, O'Boyle almost struck again. The long-range free kick out of defence by Cooper. O'Boyle collecting, and he was just inches wide. Hamish French was next to try his luck for the pars. He looked more likely to cross the ball, but seeing the keeper off his line, the former Dundee United man used his head and decided to go for goal. Bert Payton's team were always looking for a second, but Ivo Dembeeman's shot was weak. No problem for Monaghan. The Bankies had one final attempt to equalise. The shot coming in from the right, but Henry's touch not enough to beat Ian Westwater. Keeper saving easily, 1-0 to the pars.